Hello everyone and welcome back to Strafe. I just finished playing Bendy so I thought I'd have a bit of a fast paced game sort of palate cleanser. Uh, why not play? What? Railgun. Give me. Nice. Alright, let's go. Well, what do we talk about when we play this game? Because it's not terrifying. It's reasonably absurd, but it's not horribly terrifying. Uh, and it's just a game. It goes fast. You get motion sickness, I shoot things, we die, it lasts about an hour, have fun, uh, see you at the end of the thingy. This is normally one of those uh, ramble about whatever's cooking, you know, what's new in life. What's new in life, everybody? Uh, it's, just, it's difficult without you know, live chat. <laughs> chat, tell me. But, you know, we, we, get, we get over it. We can talk about, oh dear, basically anything you'd like. What's, what does Ramos want to do? I remember. Oh, it's no shots. Where did you go? Presumably into that magical... Run away. Magical shop in the sky. Uh, die. Die. Okay. Don't step on the creep. Call on it, creep. This is not Isaac. That's okay. We haven't played Isaac for some time. I am fully much myself looking forward to... I just picked the weirdest ways of speaking when I'm playing games like this because I don't really have a reason for you but I say words in ways that I would never have said them if I was just talking normally it's like what possessed me to use the phrase fully much <laughs> now here's a question uh, mad strats on this game you just use these weapons until they're empty Woo! Because that seems to me like the way that uh, we want to do it here. Because I'm guilty many times of picking up these weapons and then just sort of forgetting that I have them. And then really not doing anything at all with them. And then dying, <laughs> having not emptied them. Uh, and, and I don't know if any of them particularly has any advantage or, you know, strength against enemies hither and thither than any other weapon. So uh, I guess there's a lot of experimentation to do, but at the same time can I not just sort of shoot any enemy with anything and expect it to die? I never use the secondary fire of the railgun. In fairness, I don't use the secondary fire of any weapon. Ooh, those are explosive. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't let baddies hurt you. That's basically rule one of every single game. Don't let baddies hurt you. Yeah, we just come away from playing Bendy and I'm sure I was talking about something else just now, but... Train of thought. Just go with it. Um, and it's a very slow game. The main protagonist is completely incapable of doing any sort of sprinting. As a result, there's a, you can press shift and you go noticeably but barely faster. But, um, and I really, really wanted a game where when I press the forward button, I just go really fast. <laughs> that was my entire philosophy for picking up strafe right now. We could have played Dead Cells, but uh, I wasn't feeling it. Um, and I'm kind of putting those two series on hiatus. Not that anybody asked. But I'm telling you because that's why we play this game. Sort of a bit of an update, a bit of a how's your father? Well, you know what I mean. Um, and the, the slow pace of a game like Bendy, although an excellent game, and I highly recommend it to anybody who is not strongly affected by I only want to say psychological thrillers it's just a, a bit of a horror really it's straight up a horror game if you're not affected by that I strongly recommend you try it if you are affected by that strongly recommend that you don't because self-care is extremely important and I don't want to be the person who has recommended to everybody under the sun that they play a game that turns out to be horrendously horrific for anybody playing it and they end up in a psych ward or something because I said that you should play this game or that game and they went ahead and played it and now here we are hypothetically in the hypothetical situation that we try to avoid okay. um, because I, uh, there's no shame in it don't let them tell you to be ashamed of it you know, it's if you have problems you have problems we all have problems one way or another and it's not that we get over it it's that we work with it okay you 
You know you best. You can best decide how to deal with your issues, if you have any. And if that involves not playing games that are you know, heart-wrenching thrillers like Bendy and Ding. Oh, it's not a thriller. That's the thing, it's a horror. It's slow-paced and it gets you. It gets you right in the feels, right? Uh, then don't heck in play it. We have got 4,000 doodars. I think we might be better off saving up 6,000 for some more armor. And I heard a grunt. Did you hear it? Uh, <clears throat> saving up 6,000 for some armor than spending it on anything else. We've got reasonable amount of ammunition. I'm not really worried about that. And this we might as well just take because we're about to leave. We're about to get a health upgrade, which is splendido. I jumped over everything that could possibly have hurt me, and you know it. Still haven't figured out how to play this game because I have no idea how to find a secret. I know that the game has secrets. And yet... Hello. Can you stop jumping at the point when I'm trying to shoot? Extremely rude and frustrating. I know that the game has secrets, uh, and I'd like to know how to access them. Not like that. If there's ever a secret, that would be it. They don't seem to have any tells. I don't... <laughs> I don't respect a game whose secrets don't have tells. Maybe they do have tells, but I haven't. They don't tell me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not speaking their language. That's the thing here. So let's just leave. Shoot fuse boxes to gain access to storage rooms. If you see a fuse box door on the ground, look up. Noted. <laughs> but I have no idea what they look like. So keep an eye out for those, friends, and we will see what we can see in in this level or the next going forward shall we say no we shall not say and anybody who says going forward is sorely in need of the phrase in the future or from now on or just not saying it because it's kind of implied in the fact that you're talking about the future not the past I'm a fan of the phrase from now on. You know, it basically means going forward, except it, it doesn't really have any extra words that you don't need to say. It also has a nuance that you um, can out, sort of imply that, or infer that uh, you're not going to try and go back in time to fix anything. That's good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me for going a little bit Quiet. Uh, let's have a look at our levels. Yeah, it seems like we're talking. So what do your fuse boxes on the floor look like? Are they covered in goo? Maybe. You. Get you. Get you. We got you. I don't want to waste all my ammunition trying to make a long shot like this, but... Assist. Let me just be more accurate. This is a railgun, for goodness sake. I think I shot Oops. oh my god. Ow. Fire hurts. Understood. Understood. I'm trying to play this game a little bit slower, and I think that's simply because I'm used to slow paced games. Uh, and I recognize that I already said that I'm trying to play this game to be a little bit more of a fast paced game. I'm already sprinting, so I don't know why I'm trying to do it again. What hurt me there? That was uh, no. Um but here we are. Here's me just being very careful. I feel like if we can get a little bit further and not take too much silly damage, that would be the best. Nice. Plenty of scrap. So we can actually invest in some replacement armor. Not armor. Replacement armor. The escort, sir. Is your significant other out of town? You need replacement armor. Keep it twice the price. I'd be in for that. I would be a replacement or more. Any time of day. Any day, any year. Where are my fuse boxes on the ground? I'm very interested in finding a fuse box on the ground. Maybe I shouldn't have used that weapon to do that thing. I heard a baddie. But I don't know where it is. Don't get me. Get me, you kill me. Right. 
Give me my armor, though. So I didn't know. Come on! That was some. Well, not classify as much. Only merely some. Go away. Nice. Run! <laughs> Try not to step on the goat, but of course it's right there. So how do I... Whoa! Avoid it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All the baddies have shown up. Pretty sure this works like the ASMD in Unreal Tournament. Well, Unreal. But uh, I have <laughs> yet to achieve that level of... I, I couldn't do the combined shot in Unreal, to be fair. So I just <laughs> not a chance. And I used up all the uh, armor that I just bought, which is a shame. But at least there's ammunition. Uh, for me to pick up. Fuse box on the ground. Hello. Let me alone. You. I think that door opens. And now I'm constantly vigilant for things that I have no idea what I'm looking for. It says to shoot them. Right? Keep an eye out. And you can tell me if I've missed one. Oh, hello. That was unfair. But... Also not unfair. I mean, it's not like it wasn't right there in front of me. Kind of made me jump, though. Which is the worst thing. Because I'm, try I'm trying to recover from Bendy. And you're not supposed to be doing jump scares and stuff like that. You know? It's... <clears throat> that game took a lot out of me over several months of my life. But the boodle boodle beep. I guess we can go back to that door. <laughs> Don't know. Still looking at the ground. Oops. Don't get hurt by the fire. Still looking at the ground. Or fuse boxes and the like. But of course, if I keep looking at the ground, I'm never going to notice that I'm being attacked from front of me. What do you mean? Why would that ever happen? Uh, have you met me? Have we spoken before? It's going to happen. And these things, I feel like they should be relevant to something, but I don't think they are. I mean, they break. Explodish. Explodingly. Which is... I'm a fan of that, but... Ow! Ouch! That's not fair. Okay. Have I said anything yet that doesn't actually make sense in English? Since I started saying whatever it was I said didn't make sense in English. Oh, what did you move for, huh? You're coming up here, no doubt. Oh, hello. Hello, I got a uh, progress on an achievement that I didn't even know was a thing. Well, there's the shop. I think if we go into the shop, we can't get out of the shop. It's the exit, I think, right? So the shop is on the exit, so we keep going this way. You lost an arm. Stop moving. Your arm's off. It's not. Yes, it is. Just a flesh wound. What have we got here? Zigzags. Push it. Oh, we have to push. More scrap, please. Scrap that railgun and give me something better. That was telling. But uh, we've changed our railgun in some respect. Oh, it's bouncy. Kind of expected that. Also, I didn't think it could be true. What? <laughs> So confused. Rate of fire increased. Hello, what was that? What was that? Talk to me. Why are you in so many pieces? You're a, a, an original, are you? Mm, I'm just being vigilant for fuse boxes in case you're wondering why I'm going around. I'm not going to play that stupid Wolfenstein game that I can't control because to hell with it. We're going to just go in here. What have we got? Teleport to a glutton. Aim at glutton and press E. That doesn't sound good. Every empty magazine. That sounds pretty good. Increases run speed and attractiveness. Well, that's for your, uh, your replacement of mores. Protects you from damage. Requires time to reach. That one, please. Where's my money number? 20. Not many. Okie dokie. Thank you, shopkeep. I'm not going to shoot you because I'm not good enough at this game to deal with that sort of thing. Right, level whatever. Benches are a great place to buy ammo and armor. Isn't that all you can do with them? I'm assuming that's the uh, benches as in the scrap selling place. 
is not very strong anymore, which is a problem. Because if it's not going to hit multiple enemies reliably, I don't want to know. Maybe it is reliably. Addies? You can hear me being very cautious. <laughs> I don't like myself in this sort of mindset. I don't like who you become. I know. But why don't you just get stuck on there? I'll just beat you in there. Get closer. How did I get away with that? This is my question. What is this one? Something storm cloudy. <laughs> There's nothing that you can't fix with a rocket launch, in my opinion. Especially when you're a software developer. Where did that come from? Am I bleeding? You tell me not to. Oh, I didn't go and pick up the HP. Mm. I've managed to get through all these levels without any silly HP. Put this in. I don't like the bouncy, it's not strong enough. It's taking away my ability to actually do damage. Come on, go. What have we got now? I don't know. But I know I'd do it anyway. Who here likes the Bonzo Dog Doodah band? Hands up. Still bouncing. I have two mods on now? I don't understand why these things died, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Which is an odd situation to be in, but hear me out. Open them. Open. Open them. Open. Why are the obvious thingies not opening? One game. <laughs> I thought I knew how games worked, and Bendy proved me wrong, and now this is proving me wrong as well. Rah. Whee. Now they're open. wrong again. Can't even reload this weapon because there's not enough in it. Don't put goo on my platform. I'm walking here. You had a keyring. No, keycard. Plenty of ammo in it, actually. I'm pleased with the generosity of the game for giving me such a well-stocked shotgun. Well, I think I picked up two in a row. And nothing to say. I have run out of things to talk about. I know I said. I know I said. But. Hello. This is a shot. There we go. I know I said. I know we talk about stuff that's going on. I know we just finished Bendy. I know I was on a train of thought about how I can't speak properly when I'm in these games. But at the same time, I'm trying. <laughs> yes, very trying. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Thanks, Dad. Great joke. <sighs> I just needed to play a game that was not... It's not a problem if you go wrong. <laughs> There's no failure mode except for just trying again. It's not full of expectations and there's no storyline well there is a bit of a storyline but I am honestly quite impressed with myself hear me out because I'm on level 3 and no point have I been on level 3 and had not taken any HP damage uh, in and found enough scrap to make two large refills of armor in all that time as well on top of it all so if you'll allow me to have a little bit of a smug moment smug mode uh, I have successfully navigated this many levels and only taken enough damage for it to be a minor problem easily solved with scrap rather than a major problem which has led to my untimely demise which is of course apart from my um, minor whoopsie in the sense that I forgot to do the thing means that all of these recharging stations for my HP Another shotgun. 
10 in it. Oh, hello. Um, all the recharger stations for my HP have been able to give me an HP upgrade rather than just refill my HP. Which I think it's grand, apart from the fact, as I said, I forgot to do one of them. Which is neither here nor there. Don't you forget it. You dead? Stopped? Good. Took a bit of damage there, that's okay. I will punch you in the face with my shotgun. There we go. Reload this. What is this? This is not my... Ah. Uh, is this what I want? Oh dear. A lot of scrap, but also I'm not a fan of the... Creep. Hey, I avoided it like a... A champ. Found the exit, which is worrying to me because that was level 3. Have they updated this level, this game to be easier? Because... um. I haven't even had to do the whole where the hell do I go next dance. Nor have I been overwhelmed by a ludicrous number of enemies. I kind of feel like I've missed a whole chunk of this level out, so I'm going to go back and have a look. Because if we can... Um, it's possible that I can get away with using the uh, scrap machine again. But I can, because I've got a lot of scrap. And I'm gonna. So just leave me alone. And I will play this game how I want to, Mum. Man, the whole family's here telling me how to play my game and live my life and making horrible jokes. Any fuse boxes on the floor? What do they even look like? A hundred! I've got a hundred! Oh, we should go back and get the HP then, shouldn't we? Yeah. Wait, where was it? <laughs> there was some, right? Show me, game. Show me Mary. Hey, who likes the Catherine wheel? It's a band, by the way, in case you were wondering. Good band. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. They... They stopped making music. They, they disbanded. In early 2000s, unfortunately. Because we like them, but, um, you know, some pretty famous songs in there. Well, if you haven't heard of them, I guess it's hard to call them famous, but, well, I've heard of them. Shush. Yeah, yeah I think that's everything. Let's leave. I, I'm trying to get through this game, because we've got a long way to go until we get to the point where we haven't managed to get past it before. I don't know why I went that way. Leave it. Let it be. Oh, hello. Try not to step on this, but... Ta -da. This way. This has been a reasonably easy few levels, and I appreciate that. Oh, I didn't put it on easy mode, did I? Ah, I didn't even notice if I set it onto easy mode. Because normally I've just been playing on hard. Strafe around them. Yes. Maybe. Jen's out working again. She's working. She's always late. <laughs> She's always doing a whole bunch of stuff. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. I don't understand this teleport on Majiga because it doesn't do anything. Um, I was kind of assuming that the teleport Majiga would let you skip all that nonsense that we just did, but ooh, making myself dizzy, let alone you lot. But uh, it hasn't happened, so I don't know. Let's go into this horrible place where all the scary stuff happens. Like these giant creatures that just keep coming at you. Cleopatra. What hurt me, PS? Yeah, them. That's for the demo. I feel like this is the wrong way of doing this. I do have pockets. <laughs> and that particular weapon seems to be weak right now so I don't want to use it on such a strong enemy all it's doing is wasting my ammo which I need you get some now I don't actually I've done really really well so obviously I have put this game on easy mode not realized because I've got a load of ammo I'm hardly being attacked at all and we haven't really got anything to say for ourselves ow Apparently I can just continually use that as, um... Stop making baddies. How many bloody rockets do you lot need? <sighs> Give me that! There we go, HP. Uh, oh no, plus damage. That's probably going to be quite useful on account of how I don't... Look at Where did you come from and why aren't you making any noises? 
What an absolute loser. Get out of my face, Joker. Sneaking up on people like that. Shame. It is still bouncy. I wonder what my uh, what the other thing did when I changed the upgrade on this weapon. It didn't seem to actually change. I'm pretty sure I didn't change it from what it was back to what it was. So who knows? Yeah, maybe I'm a little bit premature feeling proud of myself because of how I don't think this is difficult right now. And that's a problem because I'm supposed to. Hi. And you. Creepy noises means baddies. Enough with the baddies. Oh, you're still not dead. There we go. Oop, bash Mike. It's not an Alpsius place if there's no Mike Basher. Where did you come from? I don't think it means baddies right now. I think it means creatures that just exist in the world. Stop it. Not doing yourself any favours. Why did you die? What did I do to deserve that? Uh, we've took, that's taken some damage. That was a particularly egregious section of the game. Mostly because things kept happening and I was not in control. Have some grenades. I'll do. Whoops. Don't mess with grenades. Bad for you. Right. No, thank you. Run past him, that's fine. What is this? So many sh shots and weapons and things and where's the... And how do I get in there? Where does it go? Ah. Where's Ace? I'm going to use it. Got 120 HP now. And now we have to figure out where the heck this thing goes. Maybe we should have figured that out first. That takes a lot longer to explode than you think it does, huh? Or ammo? Stuff, stuff, stuff. There's a lot of scrap. Oh, this is a shame. Well, it's nice to have a little bit of a, a palate cleanser, the pickled garlic of the... Uh, pickled garlic? Pickled ginger. There you are, right. Pickled ginger of the game world. And if it involves playing it on um, easy just to facilitate that, then I guess so be it. Ow. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used up all those HPs because I didn't really anticipate that happening. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Isaac again because I'm not going to play Isaac, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Afterbirth Plus because it is just Afterbirth Plus at this stage. But uh, sometime in the, towards the end of this year, we are going to find ourselves blessed with the Binding of Isaac Repentance, which is going to be. I'm scared. Oh, I was nearly there. Okay. Also, that made a baddie make a noise. Yeah. Right, so from... Right. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What happens if you run out of these? Do you just die? <laughs> right, screw it then. End of the game. Guess I'll suicide. Impulse 20. Which is the impulse for... Suicide in Quake? I'm talking about Quake, of course. Hey, hey, don't forget that I bought a thingy that shields me temporarily. See that? Shield has now gone dark. Oh. When it recharges, it will shield me again. How did you... Because what? Stop not dying. Very rude. Ah! Have to kill this. Have to kill that. Luckily, there are many things being hit at once by my shot. I think I'm going to avoid this piercing shot thing with the railgun at least. There we go. 
Wish I had a melee attack, to be honest with you. Because things keep getting close to me, and I just... Go away. Okay. Go away. Ow, that was a good shot. It tracked me. It did, yes, it did. Just use... I didn't know I had this, okay? I would have been using it if I'd known. Live and learn. Live and learn. What are you doing? You're gone. Ow, you make creep. Okay, we're here. Just, just leave. Let me out. <laughs> Help me. Uh, I don't need ammo. I need... Oh. I actually need... Oh, yes, please. I actually need... Fix this crap. I don't like it. Why did I get scrap for that? Oh, scrap for the... Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. Alright, moving on. Oh yeah. Drop a rail gun again. Finally. Oh, I'm kind of tired. Feeling sleepy, HPU. I think it's difficult to sleep, Bruce. Went skiing. As many of you, excuse me, probably know because the people who watch these videos are also the people who know that I went skiing. <laughs> There's only one crowd. You're all the same people. Uh, First time in my life, I'm 1300 years old and never been skiing until last week. It is currently. I'm gonna say Tuesday? Let's say it's Tuesday. And if that turns out to be right, then I'm a genius. I do believe that it is Tuesday, but I've been working from home. There's a little bit of an issue with my payroll. It's not a big issue, it's just that. I haven't been paid yet. It is. You might think of it as a big issue, but the reason I haven't been paid yet is not a big issue. Um, it just it might. It should take until this Friday, which means I've only got a holiday pay that I released for my holiday to get me through all of the bills that happened at the start of the month. Why did I bring that up? Because it's Tuesday, and the reason it's I know it's Tuesday is that I'm working from home when I normally wouldn't. The reason I'm working from home is that I don't spend all the money on the fuel to get to work in the first place, which is an hour away. I have an efficient vehicle, so you know, it's not horrendous to get to work, but so you, at the same time, uh, I don't have any petrol, <laughs> I don't have any diesel, any fuel left. So I talked about this. In fact, in these episodes, I've talked about the amazingness of my car. So don't pretend you don't know, right? Uh-oh, let me out. Goodling. What keeps making that noise? Because oh, it's the shield. The shield's ready. Is it? That doesn't look ready to me. For you? There we go. Can I have an accuracy upgrade? Is that an option? <laughs> Instead of an everything else upgrade. Don't need the crappy firing modes. Help me not. More damage. Or yeah, we go. I would appreciate it if more accuracy meant simply that the uh, targeting reticule became smaller. Because normally that represents the spread of your weapon. But now it just seems to represent aim here. Uh, so that's how I know it's Tuesday, because I normally don't work from home on a Tuesday. I'm also very tired. And I don't know if it's because I'm used to, I've suddenly got used to sleeping in a bed that. Well, for a start, we didn't have a double bed. It was two single beds, so I've not been sleeping with somebody touching me all night long. <gasps> Chalk horror, but also it's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but it's a different bed entirely, you know. It's a... The bed at the chalet was much harder mattress, much thinner. What is this? It's amazing, but do I need to use it? No. Uh, much thinner pillows, etc. And, of course, I haven't been doing... Hours of exercise every single day. By the way, thank you for asking. Yes, my first skiing experience was extremely good. Uh, we, we got um, private ski lessons because there was an opportunity for group ski lessons with the... Well, it's not with the package holiday people, but it's sort of organised uh, independently of, but I think maybe thanks to as a recommendation or something like that. So the people that we used for that... Uh, offer group lessons, but also uh, 
have private lessons. Which were private lessons. But the three of us that needed them were we in? Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fires additional shots, maybe. That's pretty good. Um, yes. Yes, please. Cheers. And then I've only got 65 left, but I might be able to get some more and come back. So I would like to buy uh, this the turret thingy. So we got private lessons, which was an hour less for the same price, but there was only three of us in the entire lesson. And um, unfortunately, it turned down to two of us. And I say unfortunately, not because it happened. <laughs> it does sound very ominous. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. No, um, it's more that she just couldn't manage it. Um, I mean, it takes all sorts. Not everybody is au fait with skiing, and they don't have to be. Which is weird. Why is this map empty? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not gatekeeping skiing. I feel like the map generation is different when you put it on easy mode as well. There's fewer of the more challenging extra layout bits. Uh, so she didn't really get on with skiing and I, having even though I've never been before, I like to think I did really quite well um, in my skiing pursuits. There's things to explode but nothing to explode with them so I'm wondering if there is something I can explode Optionally. See? So, any sort of rubble wall which might lead to. That down there. Something at all? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Basically, I just wasted a whole bunch of. Field for within reason. I'll get out again and I'm gonna have to stand on this goo. Can I get out again? Uh oh. Hoping that I can do this. Oh sh exit. Uh, there's no way out of this pit that I can see. So, GG. Pretty sure I can jump from there to there. It's just that this hurts like heck. Oh, yes, I can get out. That wasn't fun. I wasted a lot of HP doing that. Shame. Never mind. Let's just leave. Let's get out of here. I didn't get my extra money, which is a bit of a pest, but there you go. Um, but as a result, I was doing a lot of physical work every single day. Um, so every night I was pretty knackered, and of course it was really good food. Not something we normally get. Uh, not to cast aspersions on anybody in my household, i.e. me and Jen, but uh, we don't have the time, the energy, the ingredients, etc., to really make the sort of good food that we'd like to eat on a regular basis. So we do end up a little bit sort of going to takeaways far too often. Come on! Okay. A little bit more accurate, so... Slightly more helpful. Uh, you open. More accuracy, excellent. So, all of that, I haven't been sleeping particularly well in my own bed, in my own house, at night time, when you're supposed to. Which is obviously, uh, obviously, honestly, it's been quite common for me to not sleep well. Um, I, I'm not the sort of person who really feels well with a, a nine to five job anyway, where mine sort of until six or seven, depending on, I say 10. 10 is sort of my, I basically started at 10 time, but sometimes I start eight o'clock if I can get up. But if I didn't sleep very well the night before, there's no way I'm getting to work for eight o'clock. And even if I'm working from home, I still have to get up at 8 well, before 8 o'clock in order to start work at 8 o'clock. It comes a little bit of a menace. What is this line, oh god, on my health bar?
<laughs> this is no fun. Where is my ability to hurt things? Here's one. Excuse me, what was that? Oh, you're full of little things. See now. I'm not feeling very accurate today. This is causing a problem because it's necessary for me to be accurate to use a railgun. Might have been a shotgun run. Fortunately, I was not using the shotgun. Thought I was going to be better than this. See, so, yeah, I'm tired. Tired of life, man. Tired of the monotony. Mm, no. It's not really like that. It's just more that I'm very sleepy from... It's not just that I don't sleep well at night. I can be sleepy all day long. And then... You probably know this. People, people have been complaining about this for longer than I've been <laughs> around to do so. Um, I... I'm not tired at the point when I actually get to go to bed. Or rather, I go to bed because I'm tired enough to go to bed. Why aren't you being hit by this? See? That's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, I'm tired enough at the point when I go to bed. And then... Well, it's a good thing those don't hurt. Um, beyond that point, when I'm actually in bed trying to sleep... Honestly, even last night, um, I tend to watch Northern Lion last thing at night, watching The Binding of Isaac, which, again, we will play when Repentance comes out, because there's going to be so much more content. It is unreasonable how much new content is. Um, but, uh, during the video, I'll be dozing off. I should probably sleep. Stop the video. Turn over. I know, you know, this is, why are you watching videos late at night? You should be stopping using the screen, you know, let your mind rest. And honestly, for the longest time, we were doing that. Uh, and I'd like to go back to doing that, because we started reading a book together at night. Which is actually really interesting. I I feel like I'm getting good practice at um, reading aloud. Something I've never known if I was any good at or not. And I'm not saying that I am any good at it now, even as a result of that. Can you not switch to an explosive weapon and then make me use it on an enemy immediately? That's <laughs> a bit too much. Um, but I feel like I am improving at it, and listening to other people do audiobooks as well has really given me a sort of, not necessarily inspiration to do it, but what is it when, you know when you watch someone who's really good at a sport that you kind of like, and then you go, oh, that's a good technique, and etc. and what have you. I mean, this is happening to me too, because uh, I've been going bouldering with some people from work. And I've been watching the bouldering championships and some videos on just climbing properly, you know, good technique. Ooh, I forgot about this one. And all of a sudden, not only a main track, but you, you get an idea of how to do the thing that you've always been trying to do this all this time. Uh, and now sort of bring yourself to try. Thank you for the HP. I've got such an itchy nose. Oh my god, let me out. What are you supposed to do in this situation? Die? I guess? Because I can't get out. I can get out. Why couldn't I get out before? What happened there? Don't get hit and you'll be fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Saw that at the very last minute. Um, what was I saying? You know, you, you, you pick up inspiration for how to do stuff. And I've been doing that uh, with audiobooks. So I've been listening to other people read audiobooks and the way they, you know, really they bring the characters to how they really uh, put their all into voicing different characters. I've been reading the... I say reading. I've been listening to... The, ooh. I got a bit of regen back from killing. <laughs> Great, so just keep shooting stuff, and your health will come back. And don't step in any creep. There was more stuff to do while I'm going back this way. Um, I think there was, anyway. So I've been listening to Philip Pullman uh, series. The the the, 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 the... Golden Compass. There you go. Knew I had a name. Listen to the Golden Compass, and... Oh, dear. Whew. Um, is it's got voice actors in it. It's not just the reader. It's not just the 
storyteller person, whoever it's read by, the narrator, he's reading the words from the book, but the characters are voiced by different people. Whereas the uh, practice books read by Nigel Planer, who is well known, if you know who he is, um, played Neil from The Young Ones. <laughs> Turns out he's a normal person with a real voice, not just a, a weird lunatic with a dopey voice. That's cool. But he does all the voices for all the things. And I have 9 HP because I'm amazing. Give me more things to kill. The more I kill, the more I can survive. Sounds very berserker, doesn't it? I'm into it. Go. Bring it on. I hate that this happened. Shouldn't be allowed. That, that baddie should not be able to get in that door. To prevent that sort of thing from happening. I see what you have to do. Don't step on any creep, though. Um, so I've been reading... Audio, hold on, I've been reading a book. Jen and I have been reading Nation, a Pratchett book. Um, not everybody's favourite, I know. Oh, I do get a little bit of let off because I have a shield. Protecting me from the most egregious of damage. Nice. The door opened when I killed it. I knew that would happen. What are you talking about? Where is the rocket launcher? It's not any of my weapons. I can only scroll to it. it doesn't make any sense. What's the matter with you people? Uh, this, please. Exterminate rats if you see them. Why? Ah, uh, what am I saying? So yeah, it's been it's been great reading a book, honestly. Look at that, brilliant. And I I'm practicing my skills in reading prose. What well, a lot of it is difficult because you don't get two goes. I think that's the thing. When you read it, first time you read it, you have to sort of know what you're saying. No, have to know what the sentence means because some sentences in English are very ambiguous. That's when written down. So you have to know what the sentence means sort of in context so that you can read it properly. You know when some words are a noun and also a verb, so you have to know whether you're saying the noun one or the verb one when you read the sentence from the book and then you, you realise what it means and you go and <laughs> rephrase what you just said in a completely different tone of voice. You coming with me? Yeah. Excuse me. Can you just open this? Let's break. Um, this is active as well. I don't know how you're supposed to use it. I'm sure I've... Sure. You see? Surprise! Um, uh, and I think that's actually... A, honestly, it's a very good... Um, bonding activity. I, I'm very wary of saying the word bonding in case someone thinks I'm trying to say the word bondage. Oh, I thought I could sing more, but I can't. Um, that's just a straight up extra thing. Look, I've got a thing above my shield now. Die. Great. Oh, Jen's calling. Hang on a minute, everybody. Oh. Yeah, that one. Uh, I forgot what my key bindings were. <laughs> Sorry. You called me to say there's nothing to do. Um, yeah, it's a very fun bondage activity. Bonding activity. So if you are struggling for something to do with your partner in bed at night, uh, I, I mean, I have some suggestions, but once you've dealt with those, it's nice to basically sort of switch off, right? You wanna, you don't want to be at the mercy of your screen all night long, which is how this all started, because obviously I'm on my... Uh, phone or my, my Chromebook, as it turns out to be, all night, um, trying to sleep to an northern line video, but what you really want to do is disconnect from the screen, get your eyes focusing on the natural world. Oh, I'll tell you what, one of the nice things about being in the Alps, apart from the fact that you're not at work, is being able to focus on like really distant things. And you don't necessarily realise this, and it took me a while to realise this, but when you're at 
when you're a city liver, a land lover, everything you look at is really close. You never get the opportunity to focus on anything that's a particular distance away from. Um, the best you get is a really long boulevard, for example. I really like this weapon, by the way. Can I have more of it? <laughs> you're the rats I'm supposed to. Oh, just, just don't even preserve them. Just let me have them. Uh, you know, you get a really long road or something like that, and you get the opportunity to look far down it. Yay, brilliant. But um, when you're somewhere in the mountains or something like that, yeah, I mean, I, I get this at the Lake District <laughs> and, and things like that. I like to go to the Peak District, to the top of the peaks, for exactly the same reason. Um, you can focus on such a long distance. And it's such a strange feeling because everything's so far away that it doesn't really appear like it's real at all. It's almost like these video games that we're playing where there's something in the background um, sort of pretending to be real, not actually real. Wait, there's some... Where's the actual thing, though? Where is the power? Find it. Um... And it's, it's a, almost a relief on your eyes. You've heard the phrase, a sight for sore eyes. It's basically that. Um, I can't really describe it. If you've never been, the the closeness of all the things that you see, you know, you, you look out your window and all you can see is across the road. And even if your road's quite wide and, like, suburby, suburb, suburb, suburban? Suburban-y. It's not that great even still. Where is this blinking thing? Have I already screwed it up? I see that we've got back to the type of uh, level where I have no idea what I'm doing and <laughs> can't find simple things like very obvious power cores and stuff like that. Dumpty dum. In here? Right there. Pillock. Okay. I want to attack from behind, please. Great. I remember the first time I got here and those snipers got me. Woo! this. Give me alone. I don't appreciate this sort of behaviour from these enemies, quite frankly. Stop with the bots. Right. Name bot. Cheater. Axe. Um, but the background, the scenery. Oh. Friends. You have to go. Envy people who live there, though. Never have to get stuck in a tiny... At the distance I'm... Focusing on right now, it's negligible. I might as well have this monitor literally in front of my face, like attached to my eyeballs for the, all the difference it makes. It's not; it's like a thirty centimeters away, or maybe surely more than that. A bit close, actually. Feels bad, man. Uh, it's only got five thousand scrap. I would like to have more. Buy some. No, I could turn money into scrap. Why would I do that? No, scrap into money. I don't want to do that. I want to turn money into scrap because there's nowhere to buy my stuff. Also, I'm not seeing any fuse boxes on the floor. I'm wondering if that's because I am no longer in the ship. But what else am I looking out for in suburbia? Hello. Go away. I wish I didn't... Uh, have such limited use of these awesome weapons. Thank you. What's this? Oh, it's a save. No, we're going to keep playing. It's been an hour. <clears throat> we have recovered from the brink of death, uh, I will have you know. Actually, um, I am best at this game. Although, why are you not giving me kills? Someone tell me what this line is in my um, health bar. This sort of dividing me between dividing the first two bars of my thingy because it means nothing to me oh vienna yeah yeah skiing brilliant great fun um not for everybody as evidenced by the fact that not everybody who i went skiing with were very uh, au fait with what was happening and you know we went from to two, but I tumbled a few times, and that was quite entertaining.
Are you loading or do I just have to press a button? That was weird. I'm worried that the snipers are going to get me. Also, I'm aware of this. Let's go away. Stop being mean. Maybe it, that blue line is you have to be under it in order to regain any HP from kills. That is something that I can imagine being the case. Which is a shame, because I would really rather get back to max HP than what may. Without assistance from the game, thank you very much. So I haven't gained any HP killing any of these jokers. Such an itchy nose. Whenever I play games for you lot, I get an itchy nose. I'm not even having whiskey. You know me. Run. <laughs> ah! How? To the fluff. I'm going to activate the... Whatever. This one? And then this one? Right, what is this? Different. Let's use it. Nobody hurt me. I'm not ready for hurting. Okay. What did we get? <laughs> oh, what is this? It's a machine gun now. Interesting. How is that better? <laughs> Please tell me. What, 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 what? You. I'm being really careful because I'm cognizant of the fact, which is one of those words, but I'm not sure if I'm one of those words I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I'm aware of the fact that this is where we die all the time. And I would like to get a little bit further. So I'm trying to put my computer through its paces. It's turning out to be quite difficult <laughs> because I don't know what its paces are. Um, if you haven't watched the Bendy series, I don't blame you because it's terrifying, but you will not know that I have been having a little bit of an issue with the fact that my computer would just switch off. Um, for the first few episodes, it was fine. I could play an hour and a half, do three episodes of Bendy, and just, you know, stare at the wall until my brain regains some semblance of, you know, the difference between reality and this horrific, scary as heck. Um video game but after a while the thing about it was I thought it was a power cut okay so I was playing Bendy one day uh, quite late on in the game and it just boom switches off computer switches off what do you mean switches off I mean it switched off I thought it was a power cut because I played Bendy in the dark I've got the lights on right now because this is not one of the sort of games where um, the atmosphere of the room you're playing it in really affects the, the the experience, right? Whereas Bendy is, you basically play it in the dark or hand in your gamer badge because it's a horror game and not being entirely certain about the nature of reality or where you stand in the grand scheme of things is sort of part of it. <laughs> There's a it's, it's a bit of a psychological one, and it's a bit of a just a horror jump scare one. But between those things, playing it in the dark, I played Doom Three in the dark for the same sort of reason. You know, it's it just seems appropriate. You you get more of an experience out of it because you're not you, you give up a certain attachment to the real world, right? So I, I did that, and then everything switches off, or as far as I can tell, everything switches off. Um, sort of a, a, an unknown point. There doesn't seem to be any, like, um, there's, there's no 
relationship between when it switched off and what I was doing or anything. It wasn't a certain amount of time. I already played the game for longer than that on previous goes. So it didn't seem to be that. But something was deteriorating, I, I guess, in my computer. Which we... Many people on the internet helped me decide. And you know, I sort of knew up front. But people on the internet helped me decide it was the power supply. But it was terrifying because I was playing a terrifying game. And honestly, it took me a while before I realised that it was not, in fact, on purpose. It wasn't part of the game. You know, the, um, the game doesn't just switch your computer off for immersion's sake. That doesn't happen. You're not allowed to do that, I'm pretty sure. That would count as a virus. So. Um, although, I do recall that Pony Express turned itself off for immersion's sake, but I think that's allowed. This is a really long level. Kill him. Well, but I am doing quite well. I think, again, I have probably put it on normal mode, although this is about as far as I got on hard mode, so I'm not entirely sure it's made that much of a difference in the long run, huh? Oh, okay, that takes us to there. Uh, bash the mic again? Sure. Okay, let me out. Ah, oh, come on. And the thing. Didn't know I needed it. <laughs> Didn't know I hadn't found it, but there it is. Um, so I ran downstairs, I'm like, don't worry, because Jen tends to have a reaction to power going out because it's just an unexpected it's not um it's not horrible but it's worrying I think the 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 world that we think that we're relying on has started to crumble beneath us and the apocalypse has finally begun which sort of set off on our own by voting for it but let's not talk about that um you know we, we're not setting off but not the new Germany yet. Hello. Kill 50 little Jovies. Those are called little Jovies. I have to kill them for that thing, but apparently for no other reason. Okay. Stop shooting things. Things stop attacking me and it'll be fine. Um, Where did you come from and why did you die from one shot to the leg? I'm okay with it, but what did I do to deserve this? This one again. I'm a fan of it. Let's save it. Okay. Pretty soon I'm going to be back at the point where my kills are going to need to heal me again. I'm not looking forward to it. It's all the same to you. It would be nice if you could, like, open those without shooting them. But Also, if I stop wasting the ammo... That would be good too. What happens if I press this? All hell breaks loose, no doubt. As if it hasn't already. Can you just do that yourself, game? Yeah? <coughs> I mean, the the suburbs, can't you just notice that the power's gone out and use the reserve power? Cams this way. Where we want to be. What was I saying? <laughs> Let's talk about something important and intelligent, no doubt. Who can remember? Okie dokie. These lifts are weird. Oh, there was a... Yeah. And there were two missing, so... On either best. Um, let's use this. Not even the same one. I don't even know what this is doing. We have anything good. Ooh, careful. Okay, so these things are also homing. So these little triangular shots are really cool. Yeah, so uh, it looks like we have got to the 
point whereby we will gain HP for killing things. It's exactly what I wanted because uh, it seems to be happening. Also, it is... My health goes the other way. Bizarre. I'm confused by the different meanings of the things on my health bar now. thought I knew what was happening, but clearly I do not. 25 more of these shots is fine with me. Ow. No worries. <laughs> we may be at the point where we don't need homing shots to help us out anymore. Mind you, I saw a sniper type scope line thingy. Ooh, HP. Gimme. Don't die, get any HP. We've done that before. Ooh! Stop that. Very naughty. Hmm? Eat it all. So there's three red bars. Two not red bars. And then that's as far as we can get on our power up. Can this open that? Yeah. Shot. Getting it. Gordon Bennett, mate. Stop selling me steroids. Dumping on enemies damages them. Interesting. Hold E to pull barrels towards. Oh. No. I don't really want any of this. So let's add the steroids. We haven't had them before. Well, I'm fast. <laughs> Not sure how much of a fan I am of this. Let me out. They can't. You stay calm. I am a quick, speedy boy. Oh, yeah, I was telling you. Because Jen doesn't like it when the power goes out. It's a surprise. It's a bash the microphone sort of thing. Um, and that's fine. Cause I, so I went downstairs. I went, you okay? Basically, you know? Who said? Actually, cool. um, and the light was on. And she was still watching TV, and I sort of assumed that at least there had been a brownout, but of course the only thing in my room that was switched on was the computer. It turned off. And I was like, why have you turned off? It was the most bizarrest of things. Okay, so this is where we start doing this again. Basically you want to use this as much as possible. And maybe not here. But after that. Because enemies are going to start coming towards us. Not this. This. Right? I really don't know what was with that sort of sonic gun thing. Um, and everything was fine, and I was thus majorly spooked because what I thought was a big deal. Hey, what's my new thing? <laughs> Is that my speed charge up thingy? I don't really need this unless they're overwhelming me, honestly. Is this the other one? I just. Which weapon's which anymore, bros? Nice. Uh, buy more... Yeah. Um, and... What on earth? So I'm now trying to puzzle out the fact that the there's a, been a power cut. And yet, no power cut. Um, and then it finally occurs to me that, of course, it's my computer that's had a power cut, but the rest of the world is fine. Um, and I, I was fully expecting to find the whole town switched off, you know, not just my computer. Um, and it started happening more, more often after that. So I turned it back on and recorded a little bit more, and it got through quite a lot, and then, boo, dead again. <sighs> what is happening? It's a very difficult thing to. Because I, to this day, the only thing that has caused it to happen was playing Bend in the Ink Machine. Which is such a strange thing, because I have installed um, countless, i.e. two, uh, sort of utilities of uh, hammering the GPU and the CPU and the memory and all that sort of thing. Try and get it to do it again. And all I could get out of it was a strange, slightly electrical buzzing noise when the GPU was doing work. Which it's still doing now, although not to the same degree. 
How long do you think this um, shield takes to recharge? Uh, I've replaced the power supply here. Which appears to have done some job, but then through all of that, the last time it happened, and just before I went skiing, I sort of left it. <laughs> it died. I went, hell with this then. And, um, hello. Yeah, try it. It died. I went, sod it. Come on. That hurts. Don't do that. Can you not with the ouchie? It died. I went sod it. This was right towards the end of the game as well. Um, and then I went on holiday. Because I thought, this is probably a power supply thing. If I keep trying, it's just going to be... This could be a nuisance. And the thing about Bendy is that as you make progress, it saves the game. So you can't just sort of... Well, there's two problems. If it didn't just save the game, that would still be a problem. Because I would just be going through the motions, quite literally. Getting back to where I was from when I last saved it. And if it does what it actually does, which is to save it as you go along, I'm not going to be able to repeat the stages anyway. Um, so... I did look up on the internet how to recover an MP4 file, and it is possible. Um, because <clears throat> in order to run an MP4 file, it has to know certain information about the file itself, e.g. how long it is. Um, it writes information to the end of the file when you stop recording. And in order to play it, that file, that, that information needs to be present, basically. Uh, but it can sort of reproduce it to some extent from uh, another video written by the same software. So I did that. Uh, I'm very lost. I don't know if you can tell. Andrian is not helping. Um, so <laughs> overnight it took me to recover 15 minutes of video from uh, when I from the progress I'd made um, and I continued with it just today so that's why I'm playing this game because I finished Bendy today just now and um, pretty happy with that result so thought I'd play something new and now that I've got a new power supply Bendy is the only thing that I've ever been able to get to actually break my computer in that desirous of ways because it felt so... It was weird how my brain just sort of assumed that the game had done it for me. It was a couple of seconds, well maybe not a whole couple of seconds, but it was some time before my brain noticed that um, <laughs> it wasn't on anymore. Like, it went black and I went oh this is part of it but it wasn't part of it and I didn't notice that it had done something that wasn't part of it until oh uh, help <laughs> continue to help I hadn't noticed it had done something that wasn't part of it until I realised that the computer itself was switched off because it felt for all the world like it had just gone black and given me a starting a cutscene or something like that. I'm like, wow, that's a really cool thing. It felt like a really cool thing. Almost like an, an anti-jump scare. I wasn't expecting it. And it made me jump. But also, it was just nothing happened rather than stuff happening. Which is the weirdest feeling. And I thought that was a really good in, uh, sort of addition to the game. You're getting so far and then it just goes... Boo! And it switches off. It looks like the game is switched off. Of course, the game hadn't switched off. <laughs> the computer is switched off. Um, uh, and we were in a, a sorry situation. Shame, because I've had to spend a decent amount of money. But I've got a decent power supply now. Um, where the heck am I going? The game is sending me around in circles. Um, I've got a decent power supply now. It cost me a pretty penny, but also, that's okay. It says that way. Uh, because future proofing is important, honestly, and I think the power supply that I just pulled out has been with me since ah, I got the computer, since I got the case from my brother. <laughs> uh, 
um, ages ago to replace the case that I did have, which was too small to house a new graphics card. <laughs> Go. Go. Reloading. Uh, so, I, it's been such a long time. We've been discussing things because this new power supply that I've now got is extremely frustrating because apparently, at some point in the past, without my knowledge, I've been out of the loop in terms of building hardware for the longest time you could imagine. Um, like, I... I don't know what's good anymore, and I, being sincere, because we're now looking at maybe building a, another PC for for Jen, or upgrading this one for us both, or something like that. Because I mean, this one's fine for now. This is not fun. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Huh. Uh, but fine. Um, this is fine for for now. But games are going to get better. Doom Eternal is going to come out and. Games are going to be awesome, and my computer is going to be shrug. Right? It's not going to be able to cope with it. Um, so we're looking at upgrade and get the new Nvidia so we can continue to use the NB encoding. Might even be able to replace so much that I can retire this computer and have it purely as an encoder for the um, for the for the gaming that the other computer is doing. Right? That would be pretty slow, actually. The reason I'm doing it this way and using the reasonably valuable weapon is that a lot of enemies <laughs> want to make sure that we get it right. So we've actually made it through this part of the suburbs as well, which is very new. Um, having said that, it doesn't seem that new because it's just more of the same. <laughs> I've not gained or learned anything. So it has not been a valuable use of my time, I have to be honest. But perhaps we will be somewhere new soon. A nice place to live. Wouldn't you like to live up there? Bit Duke Nukem-y. Very much puts me in mind of Duke Nukem. Fangs for the ammo. Get out of here. I don't even know what I'm looking for in these levels, so let's just go. What are we at? Level 3-3. Three, three. So now we're moving on to somewhere we've never been. Secrets, 0%. Headshot, 40. Bad at hitting. It's actually got a par, like it's still Doom 1. The lonely bars hidden in a corner waiting for the merchant's power. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, excuse me, what? Um, so I don't know what to play next. There's the thing that I should probably talk about right now. What do we play now? Always damage and accuracy for this situation. A lot of stuff going on down there. I'm going to go this way. Um, what do we play next? I've got some retro games that I want to play. I've got some new games that I want to play. And I want to do more streaming, actually. So if you're into that, check out twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Altrius, sir. That will be where you can find me streaming. Uh, do leave a follow there if you can deal with that because just change the bloody weapon uh gonna stream one stream from long dark i don't think i want to play the long dark on camera well not what i meant to say on on do i not shoot them i'm like a civilian to be honest with you give it nice um, I want to stream some Long Dark because I've got the Long Dark courtesy of I apologise that I've forgotten the name but uh, courtesy of a, a dapper fellow for sure um, obviously Bendy itself was delivered to me courtesy of Zangiri uh, a very dapper fellow indeed how about this yeah I don't think you survived much of that um, and you know, there's been many such things have been happening recently, which is amazing. Uh, I've had at least two, maybe three games gifted to me now. Uh, excuse me, I didn't order that. At least we can get back to 
40, I think. Confusing thing about HP here is that I don't really know how that is 30, 38. How does that represent 38? It's four and a bit bars. Tell me that represents 38. Excuse me. Pinny chair. Get on it. Okie dokie. Still in the burbs, but I think we're moving on from the burbs to something new. Serve and protect. That seems military. So does the fact that we've had to deal with a couple of crazy robots I didn't like the look of. Athena Megacorp. I think that is the name of the Megacorp in the sense of it's what we learned in the introduction when we watched that. I mean, that was a long time ago. Pretty cool, though. Nothing, ooh, nothing here except, oh, I guess HP, right? Why do you have faces on? <laughs> it's... What's happening here? Ooh, got little masks on. And you're just spawning without ceremony, which is very upsetting. So 30 is three bars on a tiny little sliver. What was that? So... <laughs> My HP is not related to the number of bars I've got. I just need to get to that blue line. We'll be fine. You'd be quiet. 31. Perfect. 30. One in a bit. The very bloody pool. It does help to stand still a little bit. Why have I stopped at 31? Do they not all give me HP? But all kills gave me HP up to the point where that stopped. It didn't really work, did it? And it was full of gross. It doesn't fill me with confidence. Now with gross above. Give it. Nice. Oh. 32. Wow. That was extremely successful. What are you things? Hello. Same with you? Yes. It's a while to get to that. When we get there. Or do we get there? What does that mean? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, I am to some extent just saying the first words that come into my head. It's kind of how we do this. And if you've watched this series. That's what it looks like in the French Alps. The background just doesn't move with the foreground. Hoping for something more from that box to be honest. Seemed very secrety, and then it didn't turn out to be. You shut up, whiner. Ooh. A weapon I do not recognize. Which is all of them. <clears throat> That's not quite true. At least I've learned to recognize uh, a couple of the weapons that have been doing me good work recently. <sighs> hmm. So anyway, if you're thinking of making a game with horror components like Amnesia the Dark Descent or, you know, Bendy a -la Ink Machine, um, consider putting in it a part where it just goes black for no reason and you thought you were doing well. Because that would be terrifying. So I waited, I did, I waited the game to come clean about um, why it turned my monitors off. What are you? Hi! Or rather, no. <laughs> and I'll say yes in Japanese, but not no. So, there you go. The very positive language that I'm learning. You only learn to be agreeable. How can you ever be disagreeable? Hmm? This is flesh. <laughs> this is very doom. That's why we came in, so... Okay, okay. Go up here, then. That's where we came in where we were. Yeah, catch. 
think that was a civilian, but it did give me HP. So, da 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 da. I'm okay with it. Yeah, 40 is our max HP from getting that thing, which is annoying because it's nothing to do with the line after all. I've only got 1250. I've already used my majority of it to get more armor. I, I'm looking around in the hopes that I will be able to spot some HP on the wall before I leave. That thing was kind of gross. So thank you for putting that in my game. I see none and I don't want to go too far because honestly I can't be bothered. Bothered. So let's move on. Quick glance for uh, ammo. It's, it's fine. You crawled out of there. Oh, it's all the enemies. Look, some of it is anyway. Being put together. Ua, Athena Corp has been making the enemies that I have been fighting. Thanks, Athena Corp. Athena Corp, I believe, also own. Hello. The. Oh, yep. I'll do. The um. Mining rig that we got stuck on in the first place. What was it called? Orion. What was that? That worked really well. I don't even know what I'm doing. Have I got 46? Oh, it is working. No, uh, 40. 40 is not the max. It seemed to be the max. What is this now? I mean, it seems to have done some shooting. I don't... What is happening? <laughs> all these weapons doing all these things. Just, just use the normal weapon and shoot them in the normal way. So yeah, we've got a couple of games to play next. Um, the Long Dark, I think, is going to be a stream game because it's going to be more entertaining to have. Basically, live chat, I think, is going to be the difference between the Long Dark uh, being fun and the Long Dark just being me talking abortively like I am doing right now. Is this a gooey one? Yeah. Ooh, hello. Fill me up. Buttercup. Nice. Okay, we've actually made it really far. Um, I do believe I am on normal mode, as I've said, so whoopsie. But also, who's seen this before? Not me. Oh, I think it'll be a little bit more transformative of my game than that, but never. I mean, it has been a long episode, I grant you, and thank you for watching this far, if you have. Uh, I thought this was going to lock, but I ignored it. And I went through it again. Few more damage. Gonna sneeze at that. Hurry up. Or ammo in my gun. Okay, cool. Level four one complete. I think. <laughs> This is an interstitial level? How weird. Ouch. Where is this taking us and why is it so gross? Green toxic waste hurts everyone involved. So that's why there's barrels of it. We've been chucked down the trash. And we kind of jumped ourselves down the trash, but nevertheless it's happening. I'm being very quiet because I'm aiming, and you have to be shush when you're aiming. Okay. That's good to know. Uh-oh. Very helpful. Thank you for telling me that I can make good use of that. Hello? Also, what's my max HP now? <laughs> I think it's 120. We're there, so that's cool. I'm stuck on a thing. Okay. Hello. What? That weapon doesn't half like to fall apart. That's nice. 
Why are you not dying from this? Your normal basic enemies. Should have taken way more damage than that. I'm not going that way because there's the goo. I don't think I can manage the goo because of my... Um, status as a not being able to jump in water person. Give it. Give it. Give it. Go this way and pick up anything that we... Basically this enemy. Don't like how red that goes. I think it doesn't really go with the place. Maybe tone down the uh, emergency alert a little tiny bit and sort of let the authorities deal with it. But you probably shouldn't let the person who set off the alert know that they set off the alert. Do you not feel that would be smart? Another weapon. Shotgun again. Shotgun's been really good for me, actually. I'm not going to sniff at that. Uh, except I'm not going to use it. That is insane. Nice. I'm going to keep pepper potting down this place. Look at you running around like a half life scientist. Kind of glad I accidentally played on normal for a while because now I've got some opportunity to see what the rest. Of sort of what the rest of the game has in store. It's actually a really long game. It's kind of annoying <laughs> to some extent because I'd like to get through it a little bit more often. This is a, I mean, we're going to replace things like this. This is a, a very much a I want to play the game so I'm playing it sort of thing. So if you don't want to watch, don't feel obliged to by any means. Um, but I... Um, there's going to be a more regular series of Isaac when that comes out. In a place like this, it's going to be a similar sort of thing. It is a roguelite, after all. But, um, I'm just a roguelite, after all. Oop. Right. Stop making these baddies. Be close. Yeah, it looks like it. What's hurting me? What are you doing? Chill out. Um, it is a roguelike, after all. So, I expect the runs to be a lot shorter than these sorts of ones. Give it. I, I think that thing got up again anyway. I'm only jibbing them because of like one experience that I had. Where it's entirely possible I didn't kill it in the first place. Why are you not dead? There we go. I was this good at Isaac at dodging shots that are coming in at a very slow speed, which are easily and sedately, you know, sort of plodding their way towards me. I would be much happier, but apparently when it's a two-dimensional game, I can't dodge shots at all. And when it's a three-dimensional game, it's uh, second nature. So, well, I guess that makes sense. Locked threats detected. There's a thing. I haven't got very much stuff. I'm walking very fast in this for it being water. I assume it's water. It seems to imply the same physics as water. But yeah, I did not go slower. I'm also expecting few bo fuse boxes on the floor and stuff like that, but anything. Apparently threats detected. Where? Is it me? I don't really know what to make about that, to be honest, because not a lot I can do. Unless they show themselves. Nice. It's not like a purple air thing, is it? It's not you, is it? I'm not going to kill you just because there's threats detected. Could be. Level's too small for there to be anything else in it that I can't see. Another one of them. This game doesn't have like, like in wasting my time. Looking for things. Could be anywhere. Not here. Ow. Didn't hurt. How long it takes for that shield to recharge then? Quite a long time. If I'm being honest.
Very long time. Give me a long time? I don't want to get caught in that, because last time I went up something like that, it killed me when I got to the top. And <laughs> I didn't like it. Second long time. Doom guy. You the Doom guy? <laughs> it is the Doom guy. I thought it was a joke. I thought I was like being clever, but it, no, it was the Doom guy. You just press the button. <laughs> Who cares? Turns out. You just do that. Nice. Fan of these weapons, I've been honest. Just don't waste the ammo in them, and you'll be great. Take your time moving around. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. You dropped a key card. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Going on a bit this episode. I don't really have much to say. I've got a lot to say. I could tell you about every single moment of my skiing holiday, but I don't have much to say that I want to say. I don't like hearing myself talk. I actually don't like speaking. I think I've said this before, and it's kind of ironic considering what I'm doing, but um, this is sort of my opportunity to try speaking. I'm really not very good at it. I don't know if you've noticed. And thank you for saying you haven't, but I know that you have. Um, I'm, I'm bad at speaking. I'm bad at enunciating well. I don't... My words ain't good. You are okay to beat. It says two threats detected. So that was a one. Um, but I don't know what to do about it. So there was one baddie left in the whole thingy. Could easily have been the uh, living dude. The, the scared running around type person. <laughs> I don't have the heart to kill someone like that just because it says one threat detected. And it thinks it's him. What was it? Maybe it was one of those um, little Gabby Gabby Arnie, whatever you call them. Oh, hello. Didn't detect those threats, did you? Huh? Tron. Maybe that should be next. Tron for YouTube and the long dark for streaming. And I haven't streamed in a long time. For which I apologise, but not too strongly. As I want you to know that I do what I want. <laughs> do what I want. And you can't change me. Just chill. Read. Every empty magazine comes a grenade. What's this thing? Oh, there's nothing there. But it has a price. All scrap and credits will. What is this? Attached to a wall to set a trap for unwitting enemies. Kind of like don't want any of it. I will buy this because it exists. You. It's kind of okay, and it didn't. I didn't get my um, preferred upgrade, which was the. Um, oh, that's the way I came out. I didn't get my preferred upgrade, which was the shooty extra shooting. So this is sort of the second best thing. I have a grenade ready already. Not even an empty magazine. It's an empty, don't tell them. Okie dokie, now we're back in this hub. We get to go down this one instead. This is a long, long episode and I apologise for that. Uh, it's much longer than any Dead Cells episodes we've ever had because we're doing better at this than we did at most Dead Cells episodes that we've ever had. Um, I haven't actually played Dead Cells off camera really that much. Oh, bashed it again. I apologise. Um, it did have an annoying habit, to be fair, of um, breaking. Ooh. Ah, there you go. Basically, every time you reload, you get an extra shot. As long as it hits something. Pretty good. Although, if you find yourself having to reload in the middle of a firefight, not the funniest thing in the world. Honest. Missed. 
Not in the good way. Anything in here? I don't want these things to break, but they certainly look like they're gonna. Don't you think? Reload and explode this with it. Hey, where's my... Grenade? Excuse me? Maybe it is only empty magazines, but I was sure that I reloaded with, like, one bullet down in that magazine. I'm a very thin player, I'll be honest. Yeah, look, here we go. I didn't need to reload then. Now I've got an exploding magazine. Anything to throw it at? Nice! Don't have to use extra ammo on that to gib it if it's already gibs. This ground is goopy and slow and I do not appreciate it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Tron. I really want to play this, and I need to get it onto my computer in such a way it doesn't make a horrible racket. And honestly, I think the way I'm going to do that is to um, get a, an external USB CD drive. <laughs> because I have a funny feeling, to be quite honest with you, that modern USB technology, e.g. USB 3, is more than good enough to uh, rival IDE or SATA for things like a CD-ROM because it doesn't need that great of a speed, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's a maximum amount of speed you're going to get out of a CD in the first place and there's only a maximum amount of data you're going to get on the CD in the first place and honestly I think the first thing I'm going to do is just turn it into a... Um, <laughs> turn it into a, a CD image. Boom. And use that mount it as a, a fake CD drive and install from that because that will be completely silent and very quick so are you the threat I'm, I apologize for being that guy but it says one threat and then I shoot the joker over here apparently a major threat cannot be shot hello excuse me you were holding on to that all this time you were a threat you're a threat to an Athena core not to the player. Kind of makes sense. Hey, stop that. When an enemy comes through, it locks it. That's pretty cool. It does mean that I can... Um, if it reloads itself, I don't get a shot. I don't get a grenade. What is this gun? And why has it got no ammo in it? That's not fair. I appreciate that most enemy attacks can be dodged by strafing, and that is a design decision that they've made. Because they called the game strafe. <laughs> so if that was either an accident or not the case, that would be, um, I feel like they would have missed a trick. I thought they found that trick. I'm not much of a game design expert, as you can probably tell on account of how I talk shit about it quite a lot. I've clearly no idea what I'm saying. Basically every situation. What? Two threats detected. I'm afraid I have to kill these scientists, which makes me sad, but okay. Basically Half-Life. Am I a threat? You consider me a threat? Where did it go? I've <laughs> already lost. What is wrong with me? How are you this bad at navigating? Where did the door go? It's not just locked, it's disappeared. It is no longer a door. It's a pigment of my imagination. I used to think it was pigment. <laughs> it's a pigment of my imagination. It's a, not even a real window. Hmm? What's that about? Not enough ammunition left, by the way. Also, there was one left. Still one threat's detected. 
Server right here. Where is it? I want to end it. I want to finish this job off. Finish him. But father, I love him. There's no threats here, because this would have said. Oh, no, there you are. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I'll keep reloading. Don't bother. Wait, it was here. It was here? There. There's always one more. I don't get it. Enough. I'm going to stand here forever and it's going to just do nothing. Don't care for your nonsense. Are dead? Are dead. Very good, sir. Honestly, it's almost worth just taking a shot and then throwing a grenade and then taking a shot. I'm running low on ammunition. Honestly, it's possible that the best thing for me to do right now... This is very hellish, don't you think? Honestly, the, possibly the best thing for me to do right now is to use my scrap to make more ammo. Because uh, it ain't coming any thicker or faster. Stop. <laughs> that was awesome. How did you do that? Eight threats detected. Seven. Keep with this weapon for now. Nope. <laughs> this one. Stop moving. It's too slow. Glad those things don't actually turn into goop. Have a <laughs> sprinklers are on because apparently we've been shoved into a hellscape. Um, by the way, this is extremely doom. Just a facility that descends into the chaos of a hell-based landscape. It's not even trying. So it's even got the doom guy in it. You know, it, clearly an homage. I'm not sure it's how we say it in English. I, I know the. Americans say that, and obviously that's how the French speak, because it is their word, and they're allowed to say it like that. Um, but I've heard Americans say homage, and I'm pretty sure British say hobbish. Even though we're the ones who say French words properly, and Americans are the one who say French words horribly, like New Orleans, and there's a lot that they butcher, quite honestly. Most of it food. I don't know why they sort of pick and choose. I don't know why we pick and choose, to be fair. If we're going to say homage instead of homage, but we're going to pronounce all the food properly, it doesn't make sense. What was that noise? I killed everything? Oh, because there's some. I'm going to reload yet. I don't want to be stuck with a grenade in my hand. Always one remaining, and I have to wonder if it's me a lot of the time. Because I can never find it. Oh, hello. You? And of course, they do tend to spawn, so by the time I get back to the place, it's possible that another one has just appeared in the monster closet or something. Excuse me. Stop protecting yourself with green thingies. Hey. Whistling noises. You didn't give me my grenade. I object. Under what circumstances do I not get my grenade? Come on. I'm clean. Under any circumstances, apparently. Give me my grenades. I've earned them. I've paid for them. Quite literally, actually, because I bought the upgrade. You guys are weaker than I thought, which is a shame, because... Uh, I've been using <laughs> quite valuable ammunition on you. What was that? Yes. I would like to find a place to spend that. Grady. Gradely. Better accuracy. Now oh, I get a grenade. Grilli gr brilliant. 
Brillig. Twas Brillig and the slithy, slithy toves did gyre and jimble in their wake. Oh, have this. Um, cunningly low on ammunition. Cunningly is not the word I meant. Nevertheless, it's the word I said. I'm low on ammunition. That's gross. Move on. <laughs> I've got nothing to do here. How many levels are there? It's nearly two hours that we've been playing this game. This is like a stream. And I've been talking to myself. I feel like I should split it into levels or, or edit it. Maybe I should send it to Lawrence and he can edit it. Yo. Are you on my side? I feel like you're not. I don't like this. At all. What is happening? Let me out of here. At once. What do I do? There's a boss. I have to beat it. Yeah, have to. Uh, where's my grenade? This is an interesting thing that happens to me. What am I picking up? Where am I going? <laughs> Just avoid these things. Fine, okay. Hopefully we're still going to get HP out of our... Uh... Kills. There we are. Okay. So it's not going to be hard to kill us. I was about to say it's going to be hard to kill us. It's not going to be hard to kill us because the amount of HP we lose whilst getting owned by baddies is not anywhere near the amount of HP we're going to gain from killing him. QED. Stop following me with shots. Very rude. Safe that, you see that? Guess I was supposed to shoot those? What else have we got? Here's something. Get up, shoot them. That's the same thing again. Okay, cool. So as long as we can avoid getting ourselves um I assume I'm supposed to shoot that. Because it's the only thing there is to do. Um As long as we can avoid getting ourselves killed too much, and why why is my mouse freaking out? So I'm kind of using that to look with. So stop being weird. All the same to you. What's this? Nice of it to refuel me with weapons all the time. Um, <laughs> You have to kill these faster, <laughs> don't you? Because of how they are still hurting me quite a lot. Ow. Baddies, please. What are you shooting me through that for? Rude. Oh, you can break those down, I see. Right, cool. I see, I see, I see. Uh-oh. And my kills heal me more, please, because it's not really helping. I'm so lost in concentration right now. It's not even funny. Except it is kind of funny, but it's not that funny. So just stop laughing.
I am so grateful that I picked up that. Heal me, Seymour. Look, my mouse is going weird, and it's not funny. Ah! My my mouse is dying. Just give me a moment. <laughs> I swear to heck. I'm hoping that these batteries... Let me plug this battery into the charger and see what it thinks. What? Wrong way around. That would be uh, not for the best. I mean, it says red, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I charge this. Put it in and see. It's not the right time for things to be dying. <laughs> not the right time at all. That is a rechargeable battery. So we'll put it in. If you charge that, I'll charge this. It is mostly responding. I have to just accept that it is doing so. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> no, it has not charged. It seems to be ignoring my mouse at the crucial moments here. This is not going to be easy on account of how I'm taking more damage than I'm recovering in HP. From sources unknown. Did I get it? Did I get it? Three HP left. What? No. I must have been too close. We were about to find out what happens when we win. After two hours, I unlocked a coin. How many bars of progress are we going to have made? It's just filling up. <laughs> I don't know if there's a limit to these. Three bars? I mean, we spent three coins. We we earned more than... We, oh, okay. Killed by a boss turret. I don't know. We got to the end, <laughs> basically. Suddenly choking white and it really counted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about a bus turret. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't know what was going to happen. I don't know what's wrong with this mouse. Did you, you saw it not turning, uh, and it's not. It wasn't the battery after all. Um, however, my battery charger is telling me off about this battery that I plugged in. Flashing red. Anyway, thank you for watching, if you did. Uh, I just wanted to play this game, and now that I've been playing it for two hours, I'm kind of glad that I did, and also I wish that I hadn't, so... Until the next episode, probably going to start Tron soon, because I remembered about it. So until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you. I will. <laughs>